All right, this is the quick and dirty video for the Kraken Vecta 5 unboxing. So this is the, the box that ships inside the shipping case. It's huge. Uh, the shipping weight with the engine is about 60 pounds. Without the engine is about uh, a little over 50 pounds. So you can see it's got really cool box artwork. Talks about the, the history of where the Vecta came from. Then it's got a couple things detailing the axle, included servos, uh, the big shocks, etc. You can see there's also nice little info on the side. This is the version that's without the engine. I'm going to install the engine myself. It talks about what's needed to complete. So let's crack this open. Let's see what's going on. Things huge. Okay, so inside we've got the we've got the Vecta. It's got some protective covering on top. I'm gonna pause the video for a second and get this out. All right, so now we got it out of the box, and I'll just show you the. It just only includes a few things. So I've removed the plastic uh, protector that was uh, covering the body to keep it from getting scuffed up and stuff during shipping. It's packed really well. Uh, the overall impressions is it's amazing. It's just, it's so big. So you can see it's got the rear axle with a little laser etched Kraken logo there. So what you get in the box is you get your manual, which has your antenna shroud. Uh, on the back side, you've got your decals. Um, the essential for every fifth scale car is the DDM racing sticker because that's what makes cars fast. And, uh, and then also included, Pretty simple. So this is the almost ready to run with no engine. So you can see there's it's the spot where the engine goes. But it's got a it's got the air filter complete with the carburetor screws, the bolts that hold it to the carburetor. So it's pretty nice. Uh, the outerwear's pre-filter cover is the same size for the low C5. So you just use that. Uh, it's got a basic set of tools so that you can you got your big thick Allen wrenches. You've got this little thing here, which is used to take off the wheel nuts. And then lastly, the throttle linkage. The throttle linkage will be installed right there on the servo. So, all right, so the initial impressions of the production version compared to the, the prototype sample that I saw last year is that everything is just way refined. I mean, what he's done now is like the shocks are nice anodized. Um, the sway bar functions a lot smoother than the other one. Uh, the, the rear upper links, these were actually increased. They were made a little bit thicker than the last time. Um, and I mean, you just will never get enough of that axle housing. It is, it's amazing to look at. The whole back end of the truck is just awesome. And then as we go to the front, it's just a perfectly built. I mean, I you know, a lot of people want kit versions of everything and I get that, but it is just, it, it's, it's flawless. It's flawless. I mean, even the shocks, you know, it's like a lot of the times the ready to run cars, you can usually hear a big old bunch of air in the shocks, but these things, there's no, there's no air bubbles. I mean, this is as smooth as anybody could build it. So it's just, it's huge. It's, it's the best radio controlled truck that's come out in years. I'll flip it on its side. <clears throat> All right, so now you can get a good view of the underside. So you can see the arms, these arms have eight millimeter hinge pins and then these blocks in the front and the back are captured so the hinge pins don't come out. Um, that just makes it a lot stronger. You can see that it's got really good webbing all the way through that will also increase its strength. And then as we move back to the solid rear axle 
uh, and the trailing arms. You can see they, they pivot nicely. Got these huge joints that are not going anywhere. And then the telescoping rear drive shaft feeding its way into the to that axle housing is just it's another work of art. I mean, it's nice, it's tight, it doesn't have a lot of slop. It's just a good design. Nice big solid plate that you can see runs all the way up. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and throw the engine in there, get it all broken in, get some videos of this thing driving. So you can see back here, let's see. So this is the metal, this is the housing. So it's, what it does is it's two plates that run this way that sandwich all the gears together and they ride on ball bearings. And on the front side, there is a, an adjustable slipper clutch. There's no center differential. So it has this shaft that feeds to the front and the rear, and that's how it's the four wheel drive. And what else is cool, which I don't think you can see. Um, you can kind of see it. So right here, this is a clear gear cover, so you can actually see the gears inside, which are all, it's an all metal gear transmission. I mean, everything about the car is just really well done. I mean, the, the diffs feel really smooth. It looks like they, they got a nice, uh, a nice balance for diff oil in there, diff fluid. It feels like a little bit thick, but like not not overly thick or not overly loose. So it just feels it feels incredible. So can't wait to get this thing up and going. All right, that's it. So if anybody has any questions or if they want to see any detailed photos or uh, specific parts, just make a comment and I'll uh, I'll get to it. Thanks.